course that causes mono. Um, I know that the virus that causes mono can lay dormant in your system after you contract it, and you can also have reactivations of the virus because the virus that causes mono um, actually stays in your um, in your system permanently. Um, and so I got the antibody test for that virus and basically it just shows you like do you have the antibodies for a past infection? Do you have the antibodies for a current infection? You can have both because like I said you can have reactivations. Um, and mine were positive for a recent and past infection but they were extremely high like I don't know what is going on with that but like anything above 21 was positive that meant that you had the you had the antibodies and you did have a past infection mine were 600 600 so that means that my immune response to the virus uh, in the past was very this recent time and whatever other time was very strong, um, unusually strong, and I don't know why, because, I mean, it, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me, I, I didn't even think that I had mono, honestly, um, I had went to urgent care because I had noticed that my lymph nodes were swollen, 
was also sick recently with, with a cold, which I, before this past time, I had not been the one to start anything in the household in literally like seven years, seven, 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 eight, seven years, but my immune system is down because of having mono, because it does weaken your immune system, uh, for a while at least, um, for some people it's permanent if you already had kind of a weaker immune system, for some people it's just for some time, but my immune system is lower, so I somehow caught a cold, even though I haven't really went anywhere, I washed my hands, everything like that, but I somehow caught a cold, and I felt bad because everybody else has it now, but, yeah, that's just part of the process, I guess, I'm just really frustrated because I, I still am having crippling fatigue, my lymph nodes and my, like, swollen tonsils have been the most frustrating part because, you know, it hurts to lay on them, it hurts when I'm, like, eating, it's like, I'm always reminded that they're there and that they're swollen, and I don't understand why, because our lymph nodes literally swell when it's, when they're fighting an infection or a virus, and if there's no active infection or virus, then there's no reason for them to be so swollen, like a little bit swollen, yeah, but they're, they're so big. obvious on me because I have a really like bony neck typically. Um, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I, I just, I had enough going on mental health and all of that. Um, so this, this has just been a really frustrating, um, situation. But anyway, moving on from my rant about, uh, the lasting effects of mono, um, I've been watching One Tree Hill, which I have not started a new show in a very long time. I did start this Browse Wives, but I, I tell you guys, like, I did not pay attention to the majority of the series just because, um, I'm not gonna lie though, like, I always have a hard time paying attention to TV shows and movies because of my ADHD, but, I, in recent time, realized, like, hey, the amount of time that you're spending on your phone while you're trying to watch something is not helping you. I've always needed, like, double stimulation, but I'm trying to not be on my phone when I'm watching something and just, like, um, color a picture or something like that, something that's not gonna, like, take my focus away from what I'm watching so I actually know what's going on. But anyway, yeah, One Tree Hill is the first show that I've watched in a long time that I've actually, like, paid attention to, and I've been trying to get into One Tree Hill since, like, January, but, well, December, actually, maybe before that, but I've been trying to get into it for a long time, and I never ended up finishing a single episode, but I decided to give it a try for the third or fourth time the past few weeks, and, guys, this is literally, like, the best show that I've ever watched second to Grey's Anatomy, of course. Well, actually, I'd say it's, it's just as good as Grey's Anatomy, but it's like a different kind of good. Um, but I gave it another try, and I absolutely love it. I've been watching it every single night, and it's such a good show. It, it has such a good mix of, like, um, the issues with the teenagers, and then the issues with, like, and everything like that, um, I feel like in the beginning, on, like, the very first episode, it kind of seemed like it was just gonna be, like, a teeny pop or basketball show, which it is not in any way, shape, or form, it is, like, I don't think Montreal won an Emmy, maybe they did, but it is, like, an Emmy-worthy TV series, there's nothing teeny pop about it, it's very serious, the acting is amazing, um, the character development is amazing, like Nathan's character development, oh my gosh, um, um, my favorite character, um, I don't know if I have a particular favorite character yet, um, I love skills, um, I know he's more of like a background character, but I, I do love skills, um, I 
like Kaylee, I like Peyton, I like Brooke. Um, I like pretty much everybody minus Rachel because she was just so two-faced. And Dan, Dan I know apparently like redeems himself in the later seasons, but I just can't get past the, the things that he's done like so far. It's just crazy to me like he seems borderline sociopathic and I don't use that term lightly. Um, Deb, Deb, I really was just so annoyed with her for a while because she was just being so nasty to everybody, but I did, you know, you do have to take into consideration that she was an addict and just everything that she had been through, everything that Dan had put her through, um, you know, I'm not making excuses for her behavior, but I'm just saying, like, I don't think that's a reason to, like, dislike her character because she did have a problem and, um, I don't think that should be held against her. Um, Mouth, uh, Mouth is a good character. Like I said, I like pretty much the whole cast. Like, this is the first time in my life that I've watched a show that I don't really have a particular favorite character. I don't know why so far I've watched. Uh, I'm on, I'm almost on the fifth season, and I don't, I don't have a favorite character so far. Um, it, it's crazy to me. Um, I do not quite the few spoilers ahead of what I'm watching, just because I used to watch, like, clips of it, um, and I did the same thing with Crazy Anatomy, like, I always watched, I watched a lot of Crazy Anatomy clips before I watched, uh, any full episodes, um, which, I don't know why I do that, but, yeah, that's, that's annoying, guys, my nails were so long, and they literally came off. Um, I was lifting up my mattress to put my feet on, and they just, like, broke, which is crazy to me because my nails were not even brittle, like, they were pretty strong, so I don't know how that happened, but, um, I was gonna start trying to take, like, a collagen powder because I know that it, I mean, collagen is good for your overall health, but it does help with nail growth, um, nail health, well, I don't know if it helps with nail growth, but it helps with nail health, hair health, um, skin, all that, and the brand that I was looking at that is, like, the most popular choice, the most popular choice, the most popular choice, like, 100k bought just this past month, literally, apparently, there was a lawsuit on it in California for having, like, microplastics in it, microplastics, microplastics, So I didn't end up buying that. I was, but I'm sitting here thinking, like, how do you get away with having microplastics in a product to the point where, like, this is literally the best seller. Like, no one is aware of what's going on, and there was a whole lawsuit. Like, protein powder and collagen powder is so expensive most of the time, and it, this one was actually quite affordable, and it was apparently the best one, like I said, but after I found out about the whole microplastics thing, I was like, eh, I ain't gonna mess with that. Also, I did some research, and a lot of collagens are high in histamine, and I have mass activation syndrome, which means that, well, part of it is my body is constantly producing histamine. Histamine intolerance, a lot of the times, is a part of having MCAS. Um, so, Eating things, drinking things, consuming things that are high in histamine is not a good idea. So, um, it might be difficult to find a collagen that is both free of microplastics and free of, uh, uh, it doesn't have, like, an extremely high level of histamine in it, but I don't know. Um, I know they have that radiant nail growth oil that everybody has been freaking out about for about a year now on, uh, TikTok shop. TikTok, 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 TikTok shop. But I don't know. I feel like it might be a scam just because, like, really, there's, I, I don't know. I find it hard to believe that a nail growth oil would make anyone's nails grow that fast. Um, 
of a 